Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're gonna talk about sampling inside of machine. So what I have over here is a sample and I'm just gonna click and drag that on my 13th pad and here's what it sounds like. And I found this sample on looperman.com, which is a website for royalty-free sounds and samples. And it's made by this guy called Transfer. So check that out. It's a pretty cool website. And now on my machine, I'm going to hit sampling. And inside of sampling, you want to hit edit, which is on your machine over here, or on your software next to record. So you can click on edit, or you can click on edit on your machine. And you can see your waveform over here. So if you see on the screen, you have a start point and an end point. And this determines the start point and that determines the end point of your loop. And this knob, which is the fifth knob from the left, uh, is for zooming in and zooming out. So what you can do with your start and end points is you can take your end point and I'm just going to bring this one close to the to the beginning. So you can see where my loop ends now and the start point So I'm going to change my end point to the end of this first uh, chord and let me just zoom in and move the end point Alright, so now that we have this chord separate we can duplicate that on a different pad. And for that, you just hit duplicate, select that pad, select an empty pad. So in the second pad, I'm gonna change the start point and bring it to the beginning of the second chord and the end point to the end of the second chord. So I can duplicate that and change the end point to the end of the third chord and the start point to the start of the third chord. So you can also see these waveforms of my drum samples. So any audio samples you have, you can see their waveforms on your screen. And another thing you can do is duplicate that sound to the next pad. So you can see it says truncate over here. And even on your software, you can see it at the bottom. It says truncate, normalize, reverse, fade in, fade out, and all these other effects. So what truncate does is it renders that part of the audio as its own uh, separate audio file. So because my start point and my end point is already uh, determined, I can just hit apply and it's going to render that as its own audio file. So now I have the separate audio file with this new with this waveform, which is the same chord. So now I have this new audio file, which is just this waveform by itself. And if I go to truncate, you can see that I have a right and a left arrow, which I can navigate for different effects. And you can see those effects on your software as well. So I'm going to go right and I have normalize, which normalizes the waveform and makes it louder. I have uh, reverse, so it's going to reverse the waveform. So this sample, I could go and fade in, but it's already fading in. So I could fade out and hit apply, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo. And let's say I duplicate these three sounds to these empty pads right below. Um, I can duplicate, hit that pad, hit the new pad, let go. Duplicate, hit that pad, hit the new pad, let go. Duplicate, hit that pad, hit the new pad. So what you can do now is you can exit out of the sampling mode. So hit sampling and and let's say I select that pad, and because these three pads are the same as the top three, I could hit this arrow on the machine and navigate until I see pitch gate. And even on your software, you can see it over here. It says pitch envelope, and it has all these other uh, effects. So we're going to go to pitch gate or pitch envelope, and I'm going to 
you you can see you have uh, the tuning, you have start, reverse, and the type, which is one shot right now. So reverse and start point are pretty much the same thing that you could do with your sampling. But right now, I'm going to tune this sound down by 12. So that's one octave, and it makes it just a little more wider and deeper. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other two. So minus 12, and then minus 12. And another thing you can do is, or what I like to do is, I like to keep my some of my samples on ADSR. So over here it says one shot, and you can see that on your software. Over here it says type one shot. So you can click and navigate it or move that knob. So I'm gonna make these six samples as ADSR. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this, move the knob until it says ADSR, or on your software you can click and change that to ADSR. And what ADSR does is it gives you attack, decay, sustain and release. And this is what the release does. So I'm going to keep a short release and do the same to all these sounds. So ADSR. And every time I hit a pad and let go, the sound stops. And now you can see these six sounds. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace.